Hi friends, uh, in this video I am going to talk about uh, how to create a rollup summary field uh, by using flows uh, in Salesforce. So as we can see here, uh, I have an account called uh, Burlington Textiles and I have uh, two contacts already for this account. Uh, now I want to see um, like how many contacts that I am adding for the account. So for that reason, I created a field called number of contacts. Now uh, we'll create a flow. Uh, to see how we can get uh, uh, the number of uh, related contacts for the account into the number of contacts field. So uh, as a first step, I am going to the setup and uh, I'll go to the flows. In the flows, we, uh, we need to click on the new flow button to select which type of flow that we want. So we have uh, different options here. Uh, we can see a screen flow, record trigger flow, a schedule trigger and auto launch uh, as well as platform events. Uh, in our case, uh, we need to update the uh, number of contacts field based on the number of records that we are adding for the uh, account object. So in this case, we, uh, we can use the record trigger flow. So as we can see the description here, so this flow will work whenever record is created or updated or deleted. So we'll take this one as example and uh, we'll, so we'll go to the next button. So this is a new UI where uh, we can, uh, where Salesforce is giving us to set up the layout automatically, or we can go with existing the free form layout. So I'm just going to select the existing one for now. So in this one, uh, as a first step, uh, we need to select the condition like uh, when the execution should happen. Like, do you want to execute uh, uh, when the record is created or when it is updated or when it is created or updated? So in our example, you can take the uh, record is created or updated and uh, the flow has two operations basically. So one is a before the record is created or uh, after the record is created. So in, so in our example or in our uh, use case, we go with the after record is saved option and we set done. And here we need to select the object that we want to uh, start the flow execution. So in our case, our object is going to be the contact. And uh, the reason is we need to update the counter on the account object. So selected the object as contact and uh, we need to give a condition here. So we just want to make sure that uh, the account uh, field is not equal to null. So I'm just adding a, a condition here. And here we can select uh, what type of, and uh, on what condition that record has to be updated. So I'm just going with the default condition and I'm clicking on save. <laughs> now here we have, uh, we have selected the object and we added the basic uh, condition. So as a first step, we need to get uh, the records that we want to uh, update. So it means uh, we need to get the account record from the contacts that we are uh, creating or we are updating. So for that purpose, uh, I'm going to select the uh, label here as uh, get, uh, get contact records. And here we need to select the object as contact. And as per our condition, we need to get the contacts which are related to the account. So what we can do is we can uh, uh, select the field as account ID. And after that, we can select the value as a new, so new resource. So we create a new resource here. Uh, we will give the name as, uh, we select the resource type as variable. and the API name as uh, current account ID. And uh, it has to be text type. Now we have all the values. You don't need to uh, uh, select any one of these values, uh, but uh, we need to select the default value. That is the account ID that we are going to pick it up. So in this case, I'm going to the global variables and uh, uh, we have an option called record. Uh, that is a contact record. From there, we can pick up the account ID. Let me take the field from here. This is the account ID. So I'm setting up the default value as record uh, uh, the contact account ID. I'm saying done. So 
I selected the value here and then as a next step I, uh, I need to select uh, how many records to store basically like uh, how many records that I want to process. So in this case uh, I'm going to select all records and uh, choose fields and assign variables also I'm going to select this option. So this one will give me uh, uh, the flexibility to pick up uh, uh, which records that I want to process basically. So here I need to, uh, I'm going to create a new resource that is a collection type basically. And for this one, I'm going to name it as, uh, uh, I'm going to select this one as variable and uh, I'm going to give the name as a current account contacts and the data type is going to be the record and uh, in my case I need to go through uh, a loop condition so that's the reason I'm selecting allow multiple values and here I'm selecting the object as contact. So now, now I have the record collection for the contact object I'm saying done. So now I have the required values and I'm going to click on save. So with this one I, uh, I I'm able to get the required con uh, contacts uh, which are related to the account. I will just link these two. So as a next step, uh, I'm going to create a loop here first because I need to loop through all the contacts that I'm passing. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to label it as count contacts. And uh, here I'm going to select the variable that is uh, current account contacts. I'm, and I'm not going to select any option from here because we don't need to select these options. For, and I'm just going to save as. Now I have a loop variable here, and uh, after that I'm going to uh, create a assignment uh, uh, variable. Uh, this one will give me uh, the option uh, to select the fields that I want to update uh, in the account object. So here, uh, as a first step, I'm going to uh, create a variable the same way that we created for uh, current account ID like uh, I'm going to create a resource here first and I'm going to select the type as uh, uh, so resource type should be number so we'll just select it as variable and uh, give the name as uh, total count total contact count and the data type should be number and uh, and we don't need any decimals so that's the reason i'm giving it as zero decimal places and i'm going to click on that now i have the field i'm going to take that value and um, uh, i'm going to say that is equals count so i'm going to store the number of records that number of contacts that we got for the account so i'm going to say this one as a current account contacts so this value holds uh, so this variable holds the total number of contacts that are related to the account so we'll just give a name here total account contacts count now we created the uh, assignment mapping here. We'll just say done. Then after that, we need to link these two nodes to onto the loop, and we need to link the assignment value and also uh, so loop connector. We're just going to select for each item, like it has to go through the collection of records that we get, and say done. And we need to. Uh, uh, get the result back into the loop again and after that finally we are going to uh, so we are going to update the record like we need to select the record that we want to update so here we'll just give the label as update account record and the object uh, so this is done then we need to select the object that we are plan that we have to update so for that one, we'll specify the conditions that we are going to select it for this one. 
So our object is going to be the account. And uh, so here we need to select the account ID. So account ID is equal to um, the current account ID that we got through the contact. And after that, we are going to set the fields that we want to map. So in our case, it is a number of contacts. So we are setting up the number of contacts field with the total contact count. So once this is done, we are going to link these two. Now we have a full mapping where we are getting the contacts and the selected account. And we are uh, looping through all the contacts and we are set, we are updating the total uh, contact field and we are assigning it back to the account. So now we have uh, other, uh, other links here. I'm going to save first. Uh, we'll just give the name as update contact counts on account and save now we have the flow ready and i'm going to activate this so we have the flow here and i'm going back to the my account record to see how the functionality is going to work okay so currently the uh, the number of contacts is empty now uh, i'm going to create a new contact here uh, uh, with some required information so i'll just give name as john smith and save now we save the contact now we have three contacts here if i just refresh the page and go back to the details here I can see the number of contacts as three. So, uh, so it just shows us the contacts that we have for the account. So this is how easily uh, we can create uh, a flow which helps us to update the, uh, uh, the number of related records that we have on the parent, uh, on, on the, on the parent object. And we can also add some more conditions to the flow like uh, if you want to get only the contacts which are uh, uh, which are related to you know some type let's say you just want to get the contacts where uh, where, where last name contains uh, some value so you can filter out those contacts uh, on the get records condition itself and uh, uh, you can show the counter on the on the account object so thank you for watching the video